Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lily as we already know for today's video I'm so happy and so excited to do this So this is gonna be a furniture flip or refurbishing situation for cane products as we all know cane is super popular right now um, And it's always been so beautiful. It's mid-century modern style um, of furniture and um, In particular, it's the Seska chairs that are super popular like this baby right over here um, And I got really lucky because my boyfriend bought this one for five dollars even though they run really expensive so by the grace of god Gio and i were just driving around we found a seska chair on the side of the road like somebody was throwing it away mind you it was super rusty and very beat up with the cane all torn up that was like my sign i was like okay this is the next video that i'm gonna do and then in that same week i also found another furniture piece um at a swap meet for only four dollars but this cane was a different scenario it's a really beat up piece it was all stained and ugly color that i didn't like so basically in this video i'm going to show you how to replace cane for your seska chair or just in general it's going to be the same process for any other furniture piece and then how to vamp up old cane furniture that you kind of want to make a little more modern to fit into your space now so if you'd like to learn all about that please keep watching you sit down. i'm going to start working on the little um bamboo side table so for this project at first i had a very ambitious agenda for it i was going to sand it all and then restain it uh, with a darker like a black stain um, and somehow strip the stain off the cane so just to make it raw so as we all know i'm not very good at sanding and it's super super time consuming so i decided i was just gonna paint over the wood and just make it black it already has really pretty bamboo detailing so i don't think that'll get lost with the paint at all i went over to lowe's and i asked them what kind of uh, paint in black i could use to paint over wood and the guy recommended this this is the color max it's indoor and outdoor so that's great if i want to reuse it for other projects so as far as the cane what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to cheat and i picked up a color that's pretty similar to its natural color and it's this um almond and i think the black with the almond is going to look really pretty for that yeah. piece this is a metal spray paint meaning it probably wouldn't stick to the cane if i just used it raw so i'm going to be using a primer and this is the primer that the guy recommended to use on it so i'm going to be using this primer and then just spray painting it this project is a lot easier than i thought or we shall find out but it shouldn't take too long since it's literally just painting so let's get to it this project of course i just went all around the chair and the table with disinfecting wipes and just cleaning it as much as possible because of course covid but also because we found it in the trash um and in not very clean places so just cleaned everything up and for the next step i just went in with my screwdriver and separated um all of the frames from the chrome so that i could work on each piece separately okay guys i'm gonna put all my little screws in a bag because i don't want to lose any of them secure the bag okay and then next i want to start on tackling all of this rust and i ran across a really really cool youtube video from a man that miraculously took off all of the rust off chrome bars using steel wool and this is grade quadruple zero so it's super super fine and he got the best results by getting a wet rag and kind of section by section getting it slightly damp and then just going in with the steel wool to take off all the rust so we're gonna attempt this and hopefully it comes out the way i want it to like the cool blue light. okay guys i am literally geeking out over this transformation 
this is the before and this is the after this is insane like years of rust has come off this chrome and it's shiny again it does have obviously some um, scratches because of the wear over the years but nothing compared to this nastiness and I probably should have worn gloves doing this because my hands are just gross now and they're probably gonna smell like that for a while but it's okay this chair is gonna be totally worth it okay guys so next I'm gonna be working on taking off the old cane and replacing it with a new one I've never worked with Kane, but by the videos that I saw, it seemed pretty tedious and difficult. I don't really have a plan here, so I'm just gonna use a screwdriver to remove it. And then, yeah, just replace it. Today, we went to the Kane store to pick up the Kane that we need to replace it with. And I was asking the gentleman if he knew of a better way to do this because there isn't a proper way in every video that I've watched. People are just kind of winging it and it's really damaging to the frame. But he suggested I actually get the canal slightly wet after I've already gone um, along both edges with a blade and kind of made spacing in there. And then you just kind of spray it with water so that the water seeps into the canal and it really helps to dissolve this really old gunky glue. It has made it so much easier. Like I can't even believe I took this whole piece out in one. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Hey guys, so it's actually been a couple of days. I took a little break from the DIY project um, to do the drop for little antiques and ship everything out. So it was really, really wild to even just get like a little bit of time so i'm back at this point we've um already taken all of the cane out and um kind of cleaned the canal as much as possible it's pretty difficult to do that um and then we just sanded everything down to get a kind of a smooth finish um so that the stain the new stain sticks a little bit better and i'm not gonna lie i did not do any of the sanding that was all geo because i don't know about you guys but when you sand there's this really high-pitched noise that just bothers me so much. Do you know what I'm talking about? I just can't, like, it truly gives me anxiety and, like, super cringy. So, I avoid sanding. So now, <laughs> we're gonna be doing the cane. I'm gonna soak it first for 20 minutes in warm water, and then we're gonna measure it, cut it, and stick it into the canal, so. Let's get to it. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell, but you want the cane or the canal to be in between the holes of the cane. So I need to cut it right down the middle right there. The guy at the cane store literally only gave me enough for the Seska chair. Like he knows by memory <laughs> exactly how much you need. And I tried to buy more from him, but he denied me my request to purchase more. So I literally can't have any mistakes. For the next step, two things I would definitely recommend is one, take out all of the extra weaving in the cane that you're not going to be using. This just makes it a lot more difficult when you're trying to shove the cane down the canals. So just get rid of it and it's actually going to come out a lot smoother and flatter once you do this. And secondly is get stoppers wherever it is that you got your cane, if it's online or your local store, just so that when you've measured where your cane is gonna go, you can set it in place. I didn't do that, so I just used the back of my spoons because it fit perfectly into the canal. Once you're ready to start putting the cane inside the canals, use a tool that isn't as sharp. I used, once again, the spoon just to get all of the cane inside the canals. If you use something sharp, um, sometimes it can actually snap the cane versus just sticking it into the canal. Um, but once you go all around and do this process, I went back and with my screwdriver, I just made sure it was super deep in there and just cut off um, with scissors anything that was excess all around. Next, using the Gorilla wood glue, I just went all around the canal and added a pretty healthy amount of glue. The spline should just fit in there pretty well. It should look like half of it is in and half of it is kind of outside. Um, and because it bends, there shouldn't be any cracks. I do recommend that when you cut the spline, you do it at an angle, at a diagonal. So when it connects back together, it's a perfect um, diagonal connection. So that's gonna look as clean as possible. The next day, the glue was all dry and ready to go. And just using a cloth, we took off any excess dirt or dust that was on them to prepare them to be stained. And I used a 
classic oak stain from Lowe's and I believe this is both the stain and the satin finish so it's all in one and it was really easy to just go straight across because I wanted to get the cane as close as possible to the color of the frame okay guys so I think these came out so clean and pretty honestly not perfect because we are not professionals it's okay for example we couldn't take off the stain right there on the little edge the previous one so when you stain over it it just basically over stains and it makes it a lot darker than the other one but other than that they look so crisp and shiny and beautiful this probably looks to me a little bit more expensive than the one that I already have and it's the fact that I found it in the trash for me so I'm gonna put it together to show you guys our little finished project this is the grand reveal <laughs> Gio and I at first were wondering which was the real one and which one was the fake one or if they were just both fake let us know what you guys think down in the comments below but this little corner is way elevated now with our little trash finds guys oh my god that's so cute